हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई उमेश कुमार सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी ग्रुप ऑफ कॉलेज आई एम गोइंग टू टॉपिक ऑन द क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स वी वेल नोन अबाउट वेव फंक्शन वेव फंक्शन साई वी नो दैट mechanics is the uh, mechanics is the tool which is explain the velocity uh, ab momentum energy everything by the by help of the mechanics uh, we divide our mechanics in uh, two categories first classical mechanics classical mechanics and quantum mechanics in classical mechanics we <coughs> study the macro level system uh, macro level system macro level systems but in quantum mechanics we consider uh, micro level system micro level system uh, today <coughs> i am going to explain what uh, uh, how can apply the schrodinger equation in quantum mechanics as we know that schrodinger equation is h psi equal to e psi here h is the hamiltonian of the system hamiltonian of the system and e is the energy eigen values energy eigen values theek hai uh h act on the psi and it's give the energy eigen value e uh, <coughs> uh we <coughs> here h is the total energy of the system matlab kinetic energy plus potential energy h equal to p square by 2m plus Vr potential is the position uh, dependent quantity. Okay, here we uh, p is the momentum of the system, m is the mass of the particle. We <coughs> uh, consider p as the operator form. Here we show that p equal to minus i h cut d by dx in one dimension system. if you consider momentum in three dimension we consider <coughs> uh ih cut del uh, in 3d in three dimension p equal to minus ih cut del and del is the uh, three dimensional quantity uh here we put them and we get the our system and for these quantities put in the into the hamiltonian we get the schrodinger equation which is d by dx d square by dx square psi plus 2m by h cut square e minus v psi equal to 0 this is the schrodinger equation in the one dimensional system now we come uh, come on the main topic we are going to apply the schrodinger equation for the uh, potential well problems now consider a uh, simple potential well problem which is called one dimensional infinite potential one dimensional infinite potential as mathematically represented as vx equal to 0 when uh, potential is minus a to a and uh, otherwise infinite okay we construct construct these potential as mm. sorry uh, this is minus a to not 0 to a here 0 to a 
ओके ठीक है हियर पोटेंशियल v इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी हियर पोटेंशियल v इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी हियर पोटेंशियल v इक्वल टू जीरो इन द इनफाइनाइट पोटेंशियल केस वी फाइंड आउट द वे फंक्शन इन थ्री रीजन वी रिप्रेजेंट दिस वे फंक्शन एज साई वन साई टू एंड साई थ्री एज वी नो दैट इन द केस ऑफ इनफाइनाइट पोटेंशियल वी कॉन्ट गेट द एनी वे फंक्शन फॉर द फॉर दिस सिस्टम सो इन द इन द इनफाइनाइट केस इन द इनफाइनाइट केस ऑफ पोटेंशियल वी गेट साई वन एंड साई थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो इन दिस रीजन वी नेग्लेक्ट द वे फंक्शन वी गेट साई वन साई टू साई थ्री इक्वल टू जीरो बट इन द रीजन सेकेंड वी गेट द वे फंक्शन and we are going to apply the schrodinger equation and find out the wave function energy and everything we want to uh, find out okay applied in the second reason second reason a schrodinger equation are written as d square psi by dx square plus 2m by h cut square e minus v psi equal to 0 uh, psi uh, in the second in psi is written as psi 2 okay uh, now we know that in the second region potential will be 0 so we can put there d square psi second by dx square plus 2m by h cut square e we put the v equal to 0 so we get uh, e by m e 2m by h cut square e psi 2 equal to 0 okay we get the final uh, differential equation by using the schrodinger equation now we putting the <coughs> uh, in uh, we putting in, in the place of this equal to k square so we get this equation d square psi 2 by dx square plus k square psi 2 equal to 0 okay here k square equal to 2m by h cut square okay now we are going to solve this this differential equation as We know that such type of differential equation have the solution as uh, as uh, psi two equal to uh, a sine k x plus b cos k x. Okay, a sine uh, solution of this differential equation is psi 2 equal to a sin kx plus b cos kx for the solving of this uh, equation we apply the boundary condition for the wave function for the boundary condition we uh, using 0 then psi uh, 2 equal to 0 if we using psi a equal to a then <coughs> uh, then uh, sin kx this term will be 0 so b equal to 0 so we get psi 2 equal to a sin k x this is the final wave function uh, this is the final solution of the these equations now we know that here a is the amplitude of this wave function so we are going to find out this uh, value of the a so <coughs> we are using uh, orthogonality conditions we know that 0 to a psi a star psi dx equal to 1 if psi is satisfy this condition then we can say that psi is the normalized wave function of the normalization condition are applied 
for the finding of the value of a ok. So, we are uh, going to find 0 to a ok a square sin square k x d x equal to 1. Here a is the amplitude of system, this is the constant quantity. So, we uh, get 0 to a uh, sin square k x d x equal to 1. Now, these integral solve by the simple integral, we change sin square k x into 1 plus, uh, 1 plus cos k x and finally, we get a square equal to root under 2 by a. Okay. So, our final uh, wave function is psi 2 equal to root 2 by a sin k x. This is the our final final wave function. So, uh, now on the basis of this, we can get energy of the uh, energy eigen value of the system E n equal to n square pi square h cut square by 2 m a square. This is the energy eigen values for the infinite potential well. Now, uh, our next uh, lecture we are uh, uh, explain the potential steps infinite uh, sorry uh, potential steps and uh, a square well potential so many potential are available for discuss so uh, very thanks for watching this video please like comment share subscribes our youtube channel to visit your website gurukepu.com thank you thank you very much